Mountains in the background support this large and abundant tree, and the leaves of the tree shelter the flowers. We see a lot of care and safety in this card. Results will require patience. We need to tend to our crops, but without disturbing them too much. Crowley describes this card in the following way. This card is a great deal better than the last two, because in purely material matters, especially those relating to actual money, there is a sort of strength in doing nothing at all. The problem of every financier is first of all to gain time. If his resources are sufficient, he always beats the market. This is the card of putting something away for a rainy day. Hello, my name is Beata. Welcome to another episode of my thought series. In this one, we will be talking about the Eight of Discs. If you find my videos valuable, you can show your support by becoming a patron or with a one-time donation through PayPal. All links are in the video description below. Thank you very much for considering this. Your support will allow me to continue making these videos for you. Okay, let's get back to the Eight of Discs now. The tree that we can see in this card has eight flowers. Each of the flowers has five petals, and there are also five swirls inside the flowers. And these swirls remind us a bit of the moving elements in the center of the Ace of Discs. Five times eight gives us forty, and this is a very sacred number, quite in tune, as we will see, with the meaning of this card. Agrippa tells us that according to theologians, everything with this number did not happen without hidden and mysterious properties. And it seems to be the number that denotes the passage of an appropriate amount of time for something to come to fruition. In the Bible, Noah waited for 40 days after the flood before he released a raven. Hebrew people lived in the desert for 40 years. Moses spent 40 days and 40 nights on Mount Sinai. Christ was carried in the womb of Mary for 40 weeks, and it was after 40 days from his resurrection that he ascended to heaven. And he also fasted for 40 days in the desert. It's also interesting that in some cultures it's believed that the ghost will linger near the place where the person has died for 40 days. And usually special prayers or a mass is offered at the end of this period to help escort the soul into the afterlife. So we see here that in the energy of this card things can't be rushed. There is a period of time that needs to pass. It can be compared to the process of planting a seed. We have to wait patiently before we see any green shots poking through the soil. And we also need to have faith in the process and trust that what we have done will bring us desired results. We also have another nod to geomancy here, like in the previous card, the Seven of Discs. Crowley describes it in the following way. The Eight of Discs represents the geomantic figure Populus, which is an easygoing figure and at the same time stable. One thinks of Queen Victoria's time, of a man who is something in the city, rolling up to town with Albert the Good, advertised by his watch chain and his frock coat. On the surface he is very affable, but he is nobody's fool. Populous in geomancy denotes people or a congregation. And in the quote we have a description of a man that has some wealth and he has a good position in the society. He's quite approachable and kind, but he is also smart and he knows how to conduct his business so that he is not taken advantage of. This card is associated with the eight Sephira Hod, connected to Mercury and color orange. Hod is our intellect and the refinement of mind, so it's very much in tune with the suit of discs. Crowley says that it signifies intelligence 
lovingly applied to material matters, especially those of the agriculturalist, the artificer, and the engineer. So we see here that the material energy of discs gives something solid for the intellect to work on. We are now in the first decan of Virgo, and the time frame associated with this decan is from the 23rd of August until the 1st of September, and this decan is ruled by the Sun. The energy of the Sun will emphasize Virgo qualities in this card and give us much needed stability. We also have a very intense energy of Mercury here. Apart from the influence from Hod, Virgo is ruled by Mercury and it is also the place of his exaltation. Crowley tells us that this card shows Mercury's most spiritual aspect. Virgo is a mutable earth sign, it's very smart and analytical. It loves to separate, organize, and is always discriminating between what is useful and what can be improved on. It's often a bit too focused on the small details, and their perfectionism can lead them to be quite self-critical. They have good intentions, though, and they just want to make everything better. There can be an obsession here with trying to fix everything. This energy very often creates people who will have unmatched technical proficiency in their field, whether it will be music, engineering, or even surgery. Virgo is also very good with multiplying money. It can make a very good investor. There is an emphasis here on analyzing and continually optimizing. Crowley also says that the rulership of the sun in Virgo suggests also a birth. The discs may be represented as the flowers or fruits of a great tree, its solid roots in fertile land. So we have here an echo of what we saw in the six of discs, but the moon in Taurus was a lot more fertile energy. In the eight, we will have to wait patiently for our results. In another quote, we see that it's the card of the husbandman, he can do little more than sow the seed, sit back, and wait for the harvest. Now I'm going to tell you a bit about how to interpret this card in divination. The name of this card is Prudence, and this word can be interpreted both as being cautious, but also being able to make good judgments in the use of our resources. And this is a card of managing your finances with a cool head and discipline saving, making good investments. We have an eye for the long term here. We are definitely giving a pass to any get-rich-quick schemes. Here we are carefully considering our options and we are making wise and informed choices. If we are looking simply for a financial gain, uh, this card will show us that the immediate results will be quite poor. If this card describes a person, and this will be someone careful and considerate, they don't make hasty decisions and they are not easily influenced. They are methodical and they put great care into details, and this is someone practical and resourceful. The Eight of Discs can sometimes show someone who is a bit obsessed with details and they don't notice the full picture, or someone overly careful with their money. In work-related readings, this card will mean that you will have to wait for your desired results. Your job will require you to put in the effort and be very patient waiting for recognition or a promotion. On the other hand, it's a good sign if you are looking for something secure and long-term. This is also a card of agriculture, artisans, craftsmen, and it will show a person who is technically proficient in their field. In relationships, the Eight of Discs can show the constant care that is needed to maintain a healthy relationship. It will also remind you that you need to be patient, you need to give your partner some time to think things through. In spirituality, and this card will be a positive sign, it's a grounded energy, and it can sometimes show a bit too much focus on the material side of life. 
If the Eight of Discs shows up in your reading as advice, it will invite you to be patient. Don't expect results straight away. It will take time and you need to remember to keep nurturing the thing that will give you what you want. As an obstacle, the Eight of Discs will tell you that you're being too careful or too stingy maybe. You are too focused on the details to notice what is really going on around you. You need to see the big picture. It might not be what you think, or there might be a solution available to you that you don't currently see. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like the video, leave a comment and of course subscribe to my channel. I would like to thank everyone who is already supporting me. I appreciate your help very much. And if you find my videos valuable, you can also show your support by becoming a patron or with a one-time donation through PayPal. All links are in the video description below. Thank you very much for considering this. Your support will allow me to continue making these videos for you. Once again, thank you all for today and I will see you in the next video about the Nine of Discs very soon. Thank you, bye!